everyone. So today we are looking at lead code number 71. It's a question called simplify path. So here we're going to be given a string path and it's going to be an absolute path starting with the slash to a file or directory in a Unix style file system. And we want to convert it into a simplified canonical path. So in a Unix style file system, uh, a period refers to the current directory. A double period refers to the directory up a level, and any multiple consecutive slashes, i.e. slash slash, are treated as a single slash. And for this problem, any other format uh, periods such as triple dots are treated as file or directory names. Okay, so a canonical path should have the following format. It should start with a single slash. Any two directories are separated by a single slash. Uh, the path does not end with a trailing slash, and the path only con uh, contains directories on the path from the root directory to the target file or directory, uh, i.e. no period or double period. And we want to return a simplified canonical path. Okay, so this, this question actually seems a lot more complicated than it actually is. Let's just break it down and we can see that it's, it's actually not too bad. So we'll look at example four here. Here we have an A a dot b dot 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 c so we are going into the a directory and then we have a single dot so we're doing nothing then we're going into the b directory then we're moving back one directory from b moving back another directory from a and then going into the c directory so here our output should just be slash c okay so how would we approach this so the way we want to think about this is if we can convert this input into an array, we split it into an array on the slash, and then we, what we want to do is iterate over it using a stack. Okay. So let's just take a look at what are the three things we could come in that could be in, a, in that array after we split it. If we have a single dot, what do we want to do? We just want to ignore. Okay. If we have a double dot, what do we want to do? We want to move up. Okay. And if we have a double slash or numerous slashes, we just want to make that a single slash. Okay. So let's say we took this input and we split it on the slash. What are we going to get? We're going to get an array that's going to be a dot B dot 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 C. Okay. And if we are ignoring this single slash, we can just filter that out, right? So what we can do is perform a filter on this array after we split it and remove that single dot. So we're going to have A, B dot 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 C. And now once we have our array formatted this way, we can think about this using a stack. Okay, let's say I have a stack here. And I go ahead and push A into the stack. I push B into the stack. Okay, now when I get to this dot dot, I pop out B. I come here to this dot dot and I pop out A. And then when I come to this C, I push C into the stack. Okay, and so what's left is what is what is uh, the correct file that should be in the file path. And then all I have to do is return, just add a forward slash or a backslash, and then add whatever is in my stack and join it with, uh, with that backslash. Okay, so we can do stack.join on a backslash. Okay, now let's just do one more example here. I'm gonna erase this, this here and say, what if we have two slashes? What are we gonna do? What's gonna get in that array when we split it? And how does that all work out? Okay, so I'm gonna just go ahead and erase this here. And we'll just look at one more example if uh, we have double slashes. Okay, let me just go ahead and get this all out of the way, clear this all out. Okay, so now 
if our input here, let's say we just have a double slash here and a double slash right there, okay? Well, if we split this, what's our array gonna look like? We're gonna get an A, we're gonna get that dot, we're gonna get an empty string here, we're gonna get B, we'll get dot, 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 another empty string, and C. And so all we wanna do is when we get to our array, after our split method, once we split the array, we wanna filter out any single dots here or any empty strings, okay? Because they'll represent um, any uh, slashes that are more than one, okay? And once we filter all those out, we can just go ahead and perform the same, the same logic. Put the elements into a stack, pop them out if it's double dots, and then at the end, join them all together on a slash. Okay, so let's go ahead and move over the code and, and go ahead and try this out. Okay, so here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and create a stack. Okay, and we'll just set it to an empty array. And now we wanna go ahead and split this path and put it into an array. So we can call this path array. And what we're gonna do is just do a path.split on, uh, on a slash here. And then we're gonna filter filter out uh, any element that is not a single dot. Okay, and then we're also gonna filter out any element that is not an empty, an empty element, empty string. Okay, so that's our path array. Now what do we wanna do? We want to go ahead and iterate over this path array and push into the stack accordingly. Okay, so we can say for let name of path array, okay, and if name equals a double dot, what do we want to do? We want to pop out of the stack. Okay. Else, what do we want to do? Uh, we just want to push into the stack. We want to push that name into the stack. Okay. And so now at the end, all we have to do is we have the correct data in our stack. All we got to do is just return. We're going to start it with a slash. And then we're just going to join our stack on a slash. Okay, and that's it. That's all we have to do for this. Let's go ahead and run this. Okay, and yeah, we're good. And so let's just think about time and space complexity with this problem here. We are creating space relative to the input because we are splitting it into uh, an array, a path array, and also we're creating a stack. So our space complexity here is going to be O of 2n, which is going to simplify down to O of n. So we can say space complexity is going to be O of n. Okay, what about time complexity? Well, we're performing a linear time operation with this split method and filtering. That's going to be a linear operation. And then we're uh, performing another linear operation as we iterate over the path and we push and uh, pop off the stack. Okay, push and pop is going to be uh, constant time, but go iterating over that path array is going to be linear time. So our time complexity here is also going to be O of n. All right, so it's, it's not too bad of a problem. I think the main thing is, is really applying the pattern of using a stack, thinking of this as a stack and having a clear idea of what needs to go into the stack, what you need to filter out, and what you push and pop out of the stack. Okay, so that is lead code number 71, Simplify Path. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you on the next one.